and welcome to another sewing vlog. I'm Emma and this is my sewing channel, So Do Emma. So, I hope you've had five minutes at least to sew this week. If not, I hope it comes. Um, yeah, sewing is such a wonderful takeaway from the what is going on in the world. Um, yeah. So, without further ado, um, today's vlog is five or more sewing patterns. Size inclusive and there's a couple of bonus ones as well, which I'll talk about at the very end. Because I'm like that. I like to reel you in. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I've noticed a little few people coming and subscribing, so hello and welcome and thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed and you keep coming back, hit that button and that bell so you don't miss out on any future vlogs, I have got some dishy content coming including a sew along which I'm just about to finish and it's to be scheduled I'm trying to incorporate it in with the amount of content I have got for you so I'm trying to think of how I'm going to get all this content out and I'm going to maybe do this Friday sews and miss out a Friday sews and then do another Friday sews in the fortnight. That sound good? Yeah? Okay. So I'm gonna start with the new size inclusive patterns. You might know them. You might have completely overseen them because you know what Instagram's like. One minute is there and the next it's gone. It's like flicking through a magazine and you can't find that page. It's gone. Gone. Yes. So, first pattern is the Willowdale Bra Cashmere. Now, if you are on the All Access Cashmere Club, you might be in a, with a chance of getting this for free. If not, you can upgrade your plan by cancelling the plan that you're on and then upgrading and then you'll get a code and get the willow brief but this is today only this is the last day that you could get this offer i'm on the one below from the all access but the one from the basic one up from the basic so in the middle of the road so i don't get a free one i'm considering it but i'm not quite sure i might just purchase it for the full price and way um yes yeah, so the willowdale bra is a new pattern from cashmere you can just buy it from the shop um it looks great it's in the full size range and that is the 28c to 54g so quite good i am considering this as my first bra um I've been given the thumbs up from a bra maker. Well, she's made a few bras, and uh, yeah, she says this will be a really good one. The only thing is, I've geared away from underwear, underwire bras. I've got non on non wire bras. I find them a lot more comfortable. So I'm hoping that I can get the fit right, maybe not on my first one. I don't always get the fit right on my first one. So it is a sort of a learning curve that way. So hoping to get the fit right eventually. So maybe <coughs> maybe a Mimi bra will, with underwire, will be quite cool. Um, I like the features, it looks like a good coverage. What's more to say? Now, if I were to start my bra, does anyone know of UK stockers that would do a kit for the Willow Deal 
that. That means like all the fastenings that go together. So I like basically a one shop stop and the you can choose your colour of lace and stuff like that. UK shop. Hit me down there. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going on to the second pattern. Now this is a trio release. If you've not already seen, Helen's Closet have released three patterns. One is the Ruby Overalls. Oh my god. I love this. I'll do that at the back. So I don't have to put a zip in like the Yantas. I'm sure you can do like a fly thing with the buttons, but I'm not quite sure how of much of a hassle that would be for the bathroom. Um, anyway, but anyway, the Ruby overalls look really good. Very similar to the Yantas, but has slightly different details, including that elasticated waist, which I'm thinking of using this. Gorgeous. Now, this is, keeps coming out for different projects, so look at whether or not I use this for the Rubies. Is another thing coming, but it's a lovely soft, maybe too soft for the rubies. Might have to. I have got other. I've got a black and I've got a navy, slightly heavier weight. So watch this space. This might be used for a dress, actually. So that is that. I'm sure I've talked about that lilac linen before for another make. I'm not quite sure. And this is on a postcard. If you know of the vlog, <laughs> this is just for fun. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Um, also within this trio of release is the Dawson top. This is like a tea like this i like the neckline and she's got different sleeves as well the fit looks quite good on both helen and her mother-in-law i can't remember her name i'll pop it in on the screen that's really bad um it's really good to see different models i've not yet looked up the hashtag for these to see what the testers uh, body wise but um looking forward to that um and the moss the moss is very similar to the pona but it has a couple of different things it's got a yoke on the back this will probably be for helen shaping and there might be an option to actually close it but helen's not yet tried that i don't think so yes definitely worth checking up on those three patterns they go from a zero to 34 and that's up to a 62 inch chest and i think that's a hip as well so good sizing there next up we've got the fay swimsuit it's by closet core and this has two size ranges as does the Helen's Closet, sorry. Um, the Helen's Closet is a 0 to 22 B cut and then a 12 to 34 D cup, I think. If I'm wrong, I will pop it on the screen here. Um, yeah, so the fade swimsuit is a 0 to 20 and a 14 to 32. Um, at first glance, I was like, mm, I'm not quite sure, but it's been, it's been ticking away at me. I like the swimsuit more than I like the separates. But yeah, it's, it's got, I think it's got quite a... From memory, um, it's got quite a square neckline. Let me check on my iPad. 
a few moments later. So, scrap that. It is not a square neckline. Whoops. Um, as you can see, probably by that. Um, yeah, it's got three different views. You've got the swimsuit. You've got the full briefs and the mid thighs. I'm not quite sure in the mid rise. I like a full pant. Um, and you think VB has a supportive under bust band, but it's not got a built in bra. And it's like, um, VC is a classic mallot with a deep scoop back with adjustable straps. Very long winded, but it looks fairly straightforward. Because of the size range, I quite like him. I do like that two piece with the two tones. Okay, moving on, moving on is another swim pattern. Now, I tend not to sh shout about this pattern company, but I like the swimsuit and I don't like this swimsuit. <sighs> Might be unpopular opinion, but hey ho. Um, the Coralie by Tilly and the Buttons. I think I've fallen in love with the lilac version, which I'll look up in a moment. A few moments later. You've got a one piece swimsuit, or you've got a bikini with a choice of high or low um, bikini pants. There we go. Now, this is the version that I've kind of fallen in love with, but the only thing it's given me grief is it's a strap. It's the straps. They're quite thin, although it looks great on this model, which you may recognise. It's when you're hitting the plus size model, it is. I thought it looks great, but it's the straps that are just kind of knocking me. So, yes, um, it does come on a 60 34, and all the sizes are included in the PDF and paper pattern, which is great. Great. That's a selling point. I do like that. So, moving on from that one is the itch to stitch over its top. Avrures top? Avrures. Let's go with that one. Um, this comes in a... It goes from double zero to 40. You've got a regular cup or you've got a full bust cup option. So, there we go. I'll probably do the regular cup because I'm only a BC. Um... So I'll just look it up so you can get a wee picture. I mean, this was released about six days ago. That's because it's got a surplus front with two halves crossing diagonally. Bottom front finish with elastic to create a blousin effect. Blousin? Sleeve with arm home finish with bias binding back, yoke with box fleets, shut tail hem in the back. Designed for very light soft woven fabrics, which I've got a few of and I'm waiting to use them. So hopefully I've got enough. I think I've got a 1.5 sort of a crepe chiffon, something like that. So that is that. So you can see the elasticated at the front. I do quite like that. So it was... Whitney from Tom's Cat Stitchery, she raved about it because she patent tested it. Uh, she's 
she's quite a good pattern tester for us. It's just that she, um, she does quite a few of them. And um, then Whitney spoke of pins and needles. Um, and pins and needles did a tutorial to make this top. So go and check them out. I'll pop the link in the box below. Um, yeah, so it's a double zero to 40, if I've not already said that. And yeah, I think it's one of my favourites so far in this picture. Um, the free bonus patterns. The first one is the Albion blouse. And this is the new Peppermint magazine pattern. As you know, Peppermint pattern worked with new-ish pattern designers and this one is a Vanessa, Vanessa Hansen you might hear of that name because she um designs amazing fabric like oh my goodness I was that close to getting one but I was like thinking it's quite expensive what am I gonna make Ooh, it's really expensive Ooh, and then kind of just backed off so yes um the Albion blouse goes up to a bust of 57 inches and a waist of 50 it's got b and d cups so depending on the size that you take i think the first row maybe half of the thing is this b cup and then the rest of it is d cup so kind of yeah so you might have to do a full bust adjustment or a small bust adjustment depending but yeah, look, the sizing looks good. Um, so you can get that on Paper Magazine website, and it is free. However, you can donate if you feel obliged. Um, don't don't feel obliged. The other pattern is a free sandbag. Now this is free because if you sign up for their newsletter, Chalk and Notches, you will get a free sandbag. Um, or you'll get the code and then you put that in at the checkout and then you can download it and hey you've got a sun bag and it looks really good you've got three different sizes so yes um that looks really good so there you go that is my pattern new releases roundup i am going to do some re-releases like new sizes that have been added into certain patterns in my next few vlogs not like in every single blog but um yeah i'm just trying to get it to five i've got four so far so i'm gonna get it to five and then i'll ring it up in a vlog for you there's other content coming ooh, like i said before um yeah so i'm gonna leave you here have a lovely day before i go I am wearing my Davenport dress. It is in this gorgeous X designer, I think, um, cotton lawn from, um, I got this from Stormy Sunshine. However, I have seen it also at Jenny Stitches Fabrics. Link in the box below. And uh, yeah, maybe another place as well. But it's gorgeous. It just reminds me of summer. It's like pastel. I've got like my love heart earrings. So, yes, yeah. have a lovely week. I will be back before the week is done with a Friday sauce. And, yeah, take care of yourself. Happy sewing. Bye -bye.